everyone ready? Phones are on silent. Airplane mode. We have Mitchell Stark for Australia, and Cole shall conduct the press conference. Thanks, guys. Uh, Mitchell Stark after his pupil performance tonight with um, Josh Hazelwood in Australia's win. Here to talk to you. You've got microphones on both sides, so if you could pass them amongst yourselves, make sure I know who's got the microphone. We'll just start off at the front here with Steve. Okay, Mitch, congratulations. What were, what were the emotions like there, particularly towards the end of that chase? Obviously, it got a bit tight there. Yeah, it did. It's, uh, I think it was a, a tricky wicket throughout and, and um, I guess different phases of pressure for both teams throughout the game. So, um, yeah, I, I was pretty calm. I think Paddy was pretty calm as well. And, and um, whilst it was, was pretty close, we, we had plenty of time. So, um, nice, to, nice to squeeze past and, and make to a final. And on a personal front with the ball, uh, how, how pleasing is it, sort of gratifying to play like that? It's such a big game given the tournament you've had. Yeah, that's, uh, I guess, probably not been the, the, the tournament that I would like from the get-go, but um, nice to, to, to step up in, in a big game. And uh, I think the, our power play was, was probably what got us on our way. And um, But, you know, there were other key moments through through the day with bat and ball, but to, to start the game like that with, with Joshy and, and, and I, Power play wickets have probably been um, not our strong suit through the tournament, so it was nice to have you know a power play of what two for eighteen or something like that. So um, the way Josh bowled throughout to finish two for twelve was was incredible, um, and then Trav with with bat and ball, and, and I think a lot of guys in the field as well. The way Davy stepped up in the field uh, and, and led by example, um, you could you could probably name everyone at different circumstances through the day to, to really step up in a big game. Right. On the right. Uh, um, it's just about the first ten overs. Um, Later on, it became a pitch that was really suiting the spinners. But uh, what was it like for you and Josh? Bounce, uh, seems to be moving around compared to everything else that you've got during this season. Yeah, it, it was obviously a pretty bare wicket. Um, I'm not sure if it was, uh, you know, slightly tougher to start with the bat due to, to being under covers for, for some amount of time. I'm not sure how long. Um, we probably saw it was very, very inconsistent pace. Whilst it did probably. It probably nipped a little bit, and was a little bit of swing. I think the inconsistencies made it tough to bat on with the with that first uh, first ten overs that we bowled. So um, I, I think looking at Joshy's pitch map, it was uh, and that's what he does so well in Test match bowling. So um, he was incredible today, and, and the way we run off each other um, to have that that power play that we did and, and, and carry some momentum through the middle was was how we want to start start uh, start matches. So it was nice to do it in a big game. Speaking of uh, power plays, I mean, just the innings that Travis had played in the context of the game and how difficult it got for batting there, I mean, that is the role why I mean, I mean, Ian has backed him despite the injury and everything. Yeah, I think the way not only Trav but also Davy, they, they certainly put the pressure straight on South Africa there in, in the first 10 overs. And we've seen throughout the, the tournament how, how tough the, the first 10 overs can be. Um, at certain time, or times of the day, um, with the two out and the hard new balls. So when you, you're willing to take the game on like that, and sometimes you, you take a little bit of luck with you, but the, the guys were fantastic in that opening partnership, and, and then Trav carried through a bit longer, and um, you know, he was probably looking a bit ominous there not to, to go further, for closer to 100. So, um, yeah, certainly took some, some pressure off early with the way that the guys started, and, and obviously... A, a <laughs> Much needed with how we, we saw the back end of the game and giving ourselves a, a bit extra bit of extra time not to have to go so hard at the end. Um, I mean, you've mentioned that those power plays. Was it, despite there being some counter punching and back and forth, was it really just a tale of two power plays essentially? The story of that match and the fact that Australia was so aggressive in both. Does that really reflect? I guess the aggression of the side, the way you attack it and and the positive mindset straight on that you can just land that first punch early, do most of the hard work? Yeah, I guess so. I think um, uh, I certainly didn't sit in batting meetings, but that was pretty much how we drew it up. We wanted to, to hit, hit hard with the ball. Uh, we know that South Africa are very strong at the back end if they've got wickets in hand. And, and if we can get Miller and Klassen in, Early or within the first 20 overs, then we're, we're well on our way, and and it makes it a bit harder for for them to, to back end it. So um, it certainly went to plan with the ball today, and that's pretty much the way we set up with the bat is to to really be aggressive, take the game on, and 
and the, f- the freedom to give those guys um, to go out and, and do and play the way they like to. So, um, yeah, I think that was certainly the first 10 overs with the bat is how we drew it up. Uh, obviously got tougher with the, with the spin there and, and South Africa bowled, bowled well in, in different patches to put pressure back on us. But I think the way we started with the bat meant, as I said before, we didn't have to go as hard at the back end. Yeah, hi, Mitch. Uh, congratulations for reaching the final. So you'll be playing against India in Ahmedabad in front of 1,30,000 crowd. So you have seen that Rohit Sharma and Shubhan Gill is having a great time in while opening. So how much are you looking forward to tackle the Indian opener with your new ball? That's why we play the game. We're going to take on the best. They've been the best in the tournament so far, and we both find ourselves in the finals. So um, that's what World Cups are about. You want to... You know, take on the best um, throughout, and, and we certainly come up against, you know, a team that have, have obviously led from the front through the tournament, and they're undefeated. So um, we played them in the first game of the tournament. Now we get to take them on in the last. So uh, yeah, what a what a what a place to be at the, at the end of a World Cup. Uh, Mitch, are you uh, a bit surprised given there's been so many runs scored in this tournament? You only had to look at last night when there was more than 700 runs scored in the Mumbai final. That you ended up on a pitch that really didn't showcase the, the one-day game as it could have been showcased uh, in the major of, uh, world cricket event? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm certainly not going to say I'm one to read pitches and, and know what they do. Um, I mean, training here the last few days, the, the practice we get certainly turned a lot. Um, from all reports, I think that's a... Uh, the, the wicket we played on has been used a few times, so no surprise that it did turn. Um, Probably a little surprising that it did seem around a little bit, whilst, as I said before, it was pretty inconsistent pace-wise. Um, I think average first inning scores here have been sort of around 300 mark or a little bit higher. So, um, yeah, a, a little bit surprising, but, you know, sometimes it's nice to see ball, ball dominate that sometimes. <laughs> Mitch, were you surprised that that didn't come a little harder, yet, a little harder at you in, that, um, in the power play? Uh, I think at certain stages they tried to. I think, um, as I said, Josh was incredible with his, his line and length. Uh, we were able to build a lot of dot balls on them, which, which brings a shot like, like Quinton played. So, to, you know, he, he's obviously been a big part of their, their World Cup and, and scoring runs and to, to get to see the back of him early and, and get their middle order in, as I said, um, sooner rather than towards the back end where they, they can play with freedom was, was what we drew up. And, and so I think the, the discipline we showed today probably prevented them going any harder or certainly the way we fielded as well prevented them leaking runs or, or uh, letting the scoreboard get away from us. So, yeah, a mixture of, of discipline with the ball and it certainly backed up in the field by the guys meant we, we certainly were on top in the power play. Yeah, your batsman had a tough time against the South African spinners tonight. Uh, is that a concern ahead of the final considering they will face Kuldeep and Jadeja? Guess we'll find out when we get to the bed tomorrow and see if it's a fresh wicket or an old wicket. Mitch, the last time uh, India played Australia in a World Cup final was back in 2003. You were a sprightly 13-year-old boy at the time. Uh, uh, happy memories from that match uh, for you, given uh, what happened in the final. Apart from Australia winning, I don't know what happened in that game. So, <laughs> big party afterwards, no? In 2013. Oh, sorry, 2003. No, probably asleep. <laughs> but I can't remember what I did two weeks ago. Is there one another one there tomorrow, or this gentleman down the front? If you could pass the microphone down, that looks like all we've got. Congratulations on Thanks. making the final. Uh, uh, what do you think will will matter the most in the, fi- in the final of a World Cup? I mean, is it going to be uh, handling of the pressure or will it be la- or exclusively or largely the skill of the players involved? Uh, you could probably say both. Um, it's a big occasion. It's a World Cup final. Um, certainly guys in both change rooms have, have been there before at, at different, different formats. So, I mean, we've both teams played each other in the test final um, earlier in the year. So I don't think either change room is, is new to big occasions. Um, it's certainly going to be a big occasion in a World Cup final in India. It's going to be loud. There's going to be a lot of passion there. Um, 
it's going to be a fantastic occasion and no doubt there's going to be different amounts of pressure at different times on both teams and um, yeah I, I think it's it's just going to be a great spectacular, spectacular cricket and, and certainly everyone in our training room are looking forward to the occasion. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.